Hi guys, welcome to Blank Dream. This is a redo because I really messed everything up last time. Well, not really. It's more like that I just am a really quiet person, I guess. What I want to be, actually. Oh, maybe I should read these. Okay, so... I don't remember what the first thing said, but it says, I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. She's talking about her life. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely re refuse without a doubt. In fact, I'd, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my lef life never even existed, more or less. And so I, Mishiro Usui, never having ha a 17th birthday, threw myself into this lake. But yeah, so like in the previous one that I tried to record, I was way too quiet, and I realized that with these RPG horror games, you can't really... You don't get the option to turn down the sound, so I had to go and reinstall Audacity and configure everything around so I can actually try and be heard. Where is this? What was I just... Right as the girl regained consciousness, she realized she didn't remember who she was. Da da da. Blue flame. Save over. There is this... a set... Wow, that left a ringing in my headphones. But that uh, that old save was just my previous attempt at recording. So I do know what's happening and what, and how, what to do. Mostly. The mirror shows no reflection. The girl sees herself in the mirror. <laughs> Hello, me. I am you, and you are me. It's a mirror. Obvious, right? This is so loud. It's hurt my ears. Oh, I've lost my memories. Right. Don't worry me. I know how to get them back. Now, look into the eyes of your reflection. Sure. What great, big, beautiful eyes you have. All the better to see you with. Alrighty. A familiar place appeared before the girl's eyes. So let me just go ahead and check everything out for the viewers. The girl felt an unconscious urge to sleep here. The teddy bear stares with round eyes. The girl felt as if this teddy bear was important to her. A familiar dresser. The girl felt as if makeup was not worth the effort. Feel that, girly. I feel that. The cabinet is full of accessories. The girl felt they all matched her tastes. The closet is packed with black clothes with frills. The girl felt that she'd like to wear clothes like this. She already is. A school bag rests on the desk. Rests on the desk. The girl took a note out from it. Kiki... Kik... Oh my god. Kikunomia. Kiknomia. Oh my god. Academy class 1-2. Mishiro Usui. Her picture is on the cover. A familiar computer. The girl unconsciously went to power it on, but stopped. So this door down here is locked. It won't open. So we go over here. A small knife is, all, is in the desk drawer. It felt familiar in the girl's hands. The girl got a knife. So when they go in here, we get that knife. Stab the knife into yourself. The girl plunges the knife into her throat. Ugh. That skull is just still so nasty. And we are back. The girl came to, again standing before the mirror. Though she felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Welcome back. How did it feel? Killing yourself in the mirror. What's with that look? You got a problem? Come on. I taught you how to get your memories back. Huh? Uh. Mishiro Usui, 16. I drowned myself in the lake. See? Only partial. But you remembered. Remembered your name and how you died. Look for the mirrors in this world and break them. All across this, this world are mirrors with your reflection. They reflect your memories. And you see how to break them, right? Just finish yourself off in the mirror. Break the mirrors. You'll get back, you'll get back your memories and at the same time grant your wish. Once you break all your, all your mirrors, you'll have it all come back and you, and, re, and you can realize your wish. That's the way it works. My wish. Got it? Don't just look. You have to break them. That's what granting your wish entails. 
Why is that, you ask? Remember that part yourself. Now find the mirrors. Okay. I don't remember why it came to that, but I remember that strong wish I had. To make it so my life never even existed. What a horrible wish. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she had lost something important. Yum. Mysterious door. As gorgeous as the music is, it is so loud. Where is this? Huh? Are you new here, maybe? Whoa, I picked one heck of a time to be here. Who are you? Oh, sorry, sorry. Here I am getting all excited. You just came to this world, right? So I bet you're confused. I'm Yuzu. I'm sure you can't remember your name, but don't fret. Everybody's like that at first. I'm Mishiro. Oh, that's very polite. Wait, you know your name? That's weird. It took me so long to, to, for me to remember my name. Where is this? This is known as the mirror world. It seems to be... Oh my god, I can't even hear myself. It seems to be a world for souls with strong wishes or attachments. But I think it's one of those places between life and the afterlife, maybe. I just found myself here one day, so I can't tell any con tell you anything concrete. Souls with strong wishes? But the weird thing is, while I remember having died with some strong wish, I can't actually remember that wish. Do you have any ideas, Mishiro? Sucks to be you! <laughs> I remember my wish. What? You remember your wish and you know how to grant it? Hold up, Mishiro. How blessed are you? Gosh, the world's not fair even in death. Well, anyway, if you're going to walk around, be careful of the evil spirits wandering here, because they'll be jealous of a soul who can grant their wish, no doubt. Yeah, evil spirits! Yeah. Save! Then we go over here, and we go over here, and we run, because I'm tired of going slow. Then we go in here. Get rid of that! Take it! Unfastened the latch and took the fake axe. Got a decorative axe. You stop. Save again, just cause I wanna... We go up here. We go over here, we take this. Take one, cause our fake axe is not gonna cut down a big ass tree. So, and this guy is gonna kill me if I don't put this in here. So, put our fake axe in there and trick his blind self. And then we don't go over here, we run down here, and we actually are chopping down, if I can learn to walk, this tree. Not the, not with the knife. Not with the knife! True, I fumbled with the axe in an attempt to fell the dead tree. Bam! 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 Squish. Cause you know, trees go squish. Sure got firewood. The axe blade is broke, rendering it useless. This is why it went squish. It's bloody for some fucking reason. Cause you know this is. <laughs> Please don't. That scared me last time too. I'm ignoring that teddy. She doesn't really say anything useful about the teddy. So, and let me take this thing. I was wandering around for. Wandering around forever trying to find this stupid thing last time. Everybody, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> you shush too. Wheatley says hi while pecking at the floor of his cage. There's blood fucking everywhere. Oh, blood all over the place. Hello. Hello? Who's there? Blood. Hello? Grandma! Is that you? It was Grandma. Because Grandma makes bunny sounds. Okay, where was I going? What did we just do? Oh yeah, we got the lantern. 
I was going to commentate on the body sneaking up behind me that I didn't actually see last time. A large tree block blocks the path. There seems to be no other way ahead. Let's burn it! Vent Lantern's flame can burn it. Fires just so we can make it out. Oh yeah. Place in the firewood. Place the lantern. Because, you know, the tree's not made of wood already. It's not made of, you know, flammable wood and flammable leaves. The tree burned fiercely. Yeah! The tree was burnt down to ashes. Let's go. Let's do it. And we got the weird purring. Let's go kill ourselves. The mirror showed Mishira's reflection. Look in. And then we get to meet our boyfriend. Six months ago, Mira Lake. Very calming and peaceful though. I do like this game. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. What are you doing over there? Birds checking things out. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. I hear something outside. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. I probably hear helicopters. There's a lot of helicopters today for some reason. More or less. Mirror Lake. I might as well just test that rumor. Mirror Lake. A lake in a desolate park about, 20 minute, about a 20 minute train ride from home. There was an old rumor about it. It was said, hey, nice weather, huh? I'm talking to you. No one else here, is there? Get out of here, sassy violet eyes. Who would you be? Oh, just a passing high school student. But I noticed you staring at the lake with that hollow look. There's always a chance, so I thought I should call out to you. That's unnecessary. I'm not going to jump in or anything. That's good to hear. But there are strange rumors about Mirror Lake. Stuff like it being a gate between our world and the afterlife. Myself, I just seeing it, see it as being true to its name, reflecting the park's natural beauty like a mirror. You're probably thinking, this guy sure talks a lot, huh? You see, I'm going on talking to you to make sure you don't get any ideas. I said I'm not jumping in. Well, that's good. Oh, I should mention, I'm Ayato Hinohara. I came to paint the park today. I'm not just trying to flirt. Why tell you my... Why tell me your name? Are you flirting? I just said I'm not! Instruct introduction's the first step to breaking down barriers. So what's your name? I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> so you actually did come to paint. You're a spiteful one, huh? Did you think I was carrying this clunky easel for, for show? Not really. Oh well, if you're not here for suicide, you should stick around for a bit. I get absent-minded when I'm painting, but still, it's lonely when no one's around. Any t items which Mashiro has in the present, she does not have in the past, and this cannot use. <laughs> if you're not here for suicide, better you do something with your life. That's lovely. Rental boats. It's just a sign. Mashiro occasionally saw people on boats. I got this canvas. There's nothing on it yet. I have a bit of a connection to Mirror Lake, so it just carried my feet just carried me here. That's nice. You're weird. I'm gonna go jump in the lake. Ayato is focused on his painting and isn't looking at Mishiro. Jump in! Jump in! Skablunk! Shablunk! I'll probably hear it buses. It's about that time. And I just saw one. Welcome back. Mishiro came too, again standing before the mirror. Though she felt like water in her nose, her clothes were not even slightly wet. Yeah, I met Ayato at Mirror Lake that day. I'm starting to remember a little more about myself. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. <laughs> Sparkly! I had, a, had, a, had, a, had a keyboard. Mishiro got a bronze key. Yay, let's save. Because I... Ah! I knew that was coming last time too. Because I have seen this before. Not gonna lie. 
excuse you. You better clean that up. But yeah, I've seen this this game before, at least to an extent, where some YouTubers had picked it up to play it and then dropped it. Oh, Mashiro, over here, come on! We are right on time. Cool beans. Did it, did it, damn! Such jazzy music. Look, look, it's amazing, another person. It's seriously rare for two souls to wander in in such a short span of time. Hmm. Hmm. What? Oh, forgive me. But looking at you makes something nag at me. Don't quite understand why. Probably not acquainted or anything, right? Anyway, my name's Ryo Taro. Probably. That's the name on this suit, so... Not like I remembered it myself, so it's strange than real. I'm sure of. Right, nice to meet you. I was wondering, wandering this strange world for a bit before finding Yuzu here. What's with it, really? Feels like another dimension. This is the world where souls with a wish end up. Can you remember your wish, Ryotaro? Wish? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, I wonder. You can't remember anything exact, huh? Seems that way, like a fog all over my memories. Well, yeah. I was like that at first, too. I'm sure it was special, I guess. How long were you here? I haven't really been counting, so all I can say is really a while ago. I think it's been several years, maybe. So you died years ago? Probably. Long enough ago that I've gotten used to this place and having no memory. The only time I got any sort of memory back was the time I found a mirror with my reflection. I've seen other mirrors around this world, but they showed other people or nothing at all. I found a mirror of mine earlier. What? Seriously? Michelle, you've been really proactive while I'm not looking. If you keep it up and find more mirrors, could you try to look for our mirrors too? I don't think it's a coincidence that you seem different from other souls, Mishiro. Just while you're at it, if you have time. Sure thing, guys. I'll find your mirrors. I'll save save your damned souls and get you out of here. Anyway, that's it for the first episode. This is where I cut it last time. This is where I will cut it again. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment if you feel like it, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of Blank Dream or any of the other games that I have played thus far, and I will see you in the next one.